Hi, welcome back. Nana here. And then uh, due to popular request, I have added the enterprise structure creation also into my e-business inventory training on R12.2.12 starting on 9th of September actually. So just have a look at it now. So I'm going to show you what exactly I'm going to cover in that actually. So if you go on the query my website, oraclenana.com slash INV. Right? oraclenana.com slash INV, if you go there, you will now see that this starting, training is starting on 9th of September <clears throat> at 5.30 p.m. India. It is relatively uh, inexpensive, actually. It's very economical. <clears throat> and then uh, you will now learn all the four uh, major topics on this now. <clears throat> and then uh, this is uh, suitable for very many people. It's fine. Even if you don't have any knowledge on ERP also, it will now teach you right from scratch, actually. And no prerequisite is there. And then uh, I will now add you to my uh, two Telegram groups in which my past participants are there, my past oh. products are there. So that uh, it will now uh, be helpful for you for what I'm mean, interacting with others actually. <coughs> <coughs> you can get an instance installed by <coughs> one of the sysadmin actually. And then the duration is for approximately four weekends actually. The most starting on this. And then these are timings actually, 5 30 pm to. <coughs> so I conduct on three sessions, one after the other, with a 15 minutes break after every 75 minutes actually. <coughs> And, uh, every record will be uploaded onto the Google Drive, and so you won't be having much of a problem in uh, what I was uh, practicing it actually. And then you can make a payment over here, <coughs> uh, and then the international payment gateway. And then uh, if you're from a for abroad country, you can uh, uh, you must have a two-factor authentication on your cards actually. Otherwise, it will not accept because of Indian rules actually. And then you can even send a screenshot to my WhatsApp number, and then I will now register you for the program. <coughs> so here you can now see about how uh, the thing is there, right? the agenda is there. So I have added the enterprise structure creation also. So the initially I have done the uh, initial uh, setups actually, and then afterwards I started the enterprise structure creation. Actually. So by creating a menu, by request group, and then a responsibility, and then a user. Fine, all these things are created, and then afterwards I now uh, logged in with that new user, and then I created a location. So location has got some issues. So those issues are also addressed over here. Then afterwards, I create two locations. So then the first entity of your structure, if you go on and have a look at it now. <clears throat> so you will be having a global enterprise structure. So there are six entities are there as far as a global enterprise structure is concerned. So the first entity is business group. Fine. The business group is there. <clears throat> Fine. And then it will be classified as a HR organization also. So that is what it is mentioned over here now. <clears throat> go there. So the business group is now created. So the screenshot also explains you what how do you how it is being done actually, HR organization. And then if you go to the others, uh, we can even mention these information over here. And then I'll be explaining it during the training actually. And then I have not uh, another classification. And then uh, I have to set up the LUP profile, line of business profiles actually. And then how it has been set actually. So once when this is set, and then afterwards I go there, I go to the accounting setup manager and then I go and then create my legal entity first of all. <clears throat> create the legal entity. So once the legal entity is created, <clears throat> it will not show about how to do it now. The screenshots also will explain, but I will be explaining everything in the class. In a very proper manner, and then set the lab profile on this mobile of course, the line of business profiles for that. So it's called a data access set actually. Fine, that has been set for your responsibility. <clears throat> Fine, so that responsibility has been set actually. <clears throat> create the organization operating unit. Fine, <clears throat> we are going to create the operating unit. So it is not classified as an operating unit. <clears throat> and then here we are giving all the information for the operating unit actually. It is reporting to which ledger, which legal entity, and then finally, an of code, <clears throat> and then. Uh, we will now query on the ledger and then we will now complete the operating unit. Fine, we'll be completing it. So we can now see that everything is not done over there. <clears throat> so once it is completed, uh, and then assign the lab profiles, so the third line of business profile, a more operating unit. Fine, first is what your uh, GL data access set, then afterwards, uh, the HR security profile, and then afterwards, a more operating unit. So all these things are set. So your enterprise structure is now ready for what I was working on it. Now. I will run the replicate C data. So this will now add an org ID column to all the transactional tables on the operating unit level. So this is no run. <laughs> so once it is completed, so this completes the new enterprise structure creation. Then afterwards, I will now begin the inventory. <clears throat> Fine. With the basics, then the controls, then the medical transfers, and then the replenishment, accuracy, and the inventory management. So this way, we are going to go for it. So we have a plan to what happens, uh, conduct this training for over a period of four weeks, like four weekends actually, it will be very useful for you. And then you can even interact a lot with others actually. So there are even some experts who are just joining uh, because I am conducting it. So that way is not running. So come and then uh, learn and then prosper. So bye now. <laughs>